If it ain't Ricky North. You had any luck? Oh, none worth mentioning. Not until you come along. Brought you a letter. Letter? For me? Mm. Must be from my daughter back east. My, how time flies. You know I ain't got around to answering her last one yet. Well, that was over a year ago. <laughs> well, I never was much of a hand at writing. But I never stopped thinking about her. That's what keeps me going. Just to hoping that someday I make a strike and can provide for her. Well, now you sit down, Rick, and I'll get a fire started, and I'll cook you the doggonest mess of fried beans that you ever tasted. Well, thanks, Grub Steak, but I gotta be going. I promised I'd come right back to the ranch. Well, promise is a promise. Don't you ever bust one. Thanks just the same for bringing the mail, Rick. Glad to do it, Grub Steak. Ho, 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 ho! 
What's eating him? What's the trouble, old timer? Trouble? There ain't no such thing no more. Step down off that cayuse and shake hands with Grub Steak Smith, who just struck it rich. Well, good for you. <laughs> and they laughed at old Grub Steak. I reckon I showed him this time. What makes you certain it's real gold? Man, boy, I've been prospecting these hills for more than 30 years. I ought to know color when I see it. Now you'll file your claim, huh? You're a darn truth, and I will. Just as soon as I get her staked out. Hey, could you spare us some grub? Oh, there's plenty of hardtack and beans. Help yourself to the whole caboodle. From now on, it's steak and champagne for me. Good, thanks a lot. Oh, don't mention it. So long. So long. <laughs> Just a few hours sooner, and we might have been the ones that struck it rich. But no, not us. We're always too late. Well, maybe we're not as late as you think. And we got here just in time. I think I'm going to take myself a little ride. What about the grub? Could get it. put up a fight. What are you going to do about the body? We can't claim the gold if they find out he's been killed. Well, that depends on who gets blamed for it. Who gets blamed for it? A wild stallion and his herd. I got a bone to pick with you. Well, boy, I came right back from school, didn't I? And I got good marks, too. Now, I'm glad to hear it, but I mean about the barn. Well, what about it? Come inside. I don't suppose you know anything about all this. Oh, this? You've made a circus out of the barn again. Well, it won't be in the way. And look. Ricky, you know how I feel about this and why. But Uncle Sandy, just because my dad got killed in the Circus Trapeze Act doesn't mean I'm going to. And you know I'm going to be a rancher. Well, then why do you do this? I guess it's because 
My dad did it when he was my age. That's all. I understand, Ricky, but you know, I've got a greater responsibility bringing you up than if you were my own boy instead of my brother's. So be a little careful, will you? Sure, I will, Uncle Sandy. <laughs> You the owner of this spread? That's right. Why don't we get some water? Help yourselves. I'll try the pump for you. Did you get shot, mister? Ah, uh, we ran into that herd of wild horses. The killer that leads them like to slash me to death. You mean champion? He's got a white blaze on his face and white stockings. That's him. The champion killer, you ask me. Champ wouldn't hurt anybody. He's as gentle as a lamb. Yeah, if you can get near him. My trouble was getting away from him. There he is. That's him. If comes any closer, I'll drop him. Don't shoot him. Look, I'll show you how friendly he is. Before. I told you that stallion wasn't tame. He's a killer. You shouldn't let me put a bullet in. Thanks for the water. Glad to oblige. I can't understand it. Something must be wrong with Chad. Well, now he's coming back. Somebody scared him. That's why he's so skittish. I better go see what's wrong with him. Gosh, it's grub steak. Poor old fella. Better go back to the ranch and get Uncle Sandy. Go on, Rebel. Go get Uncle Sandy. <laughs> File a claim. I have to know the location. Where is it? Well, that's pretty hard to say. We're we're strangers around here. We could lead you right to the spot. No, I won't do. Here's a contour map of the section. Pick it out. Oh, there it is. It's that creek right at the head of the canyon. Oh, that's Latigo Canyon. Old Grub Steak Smith's prospecting up there. How is the old flea bag? Well, search us. We didn't. Uh, we didn't see no one. Yeah, I guess he's going on up the line. Poor old Grub Steak. Wonder how he'll feel when he finds out he almost struck it rich. That is, if you did strike it rich. Oh, I guess rich enough. Well, it's milky quartz, all right. That's a good sign. How do you know it's real gold? Real gold. Say, man and boy, I've been prospecting now under 30 years. I should know a color when I see it. <laughs> I don't know how you prospectors do it. Me, I'm just the official assayer. I can't tell until I make all the tests. <laughs> All right, folks, break it up. Come on. Where'd you find him? Ricky found him up by Indian Springs. Looks like he had a bad fall. That's what I figure, Sheriff. Indian Springs? Ain't that, uh, ain't that up in the mountains where that herd of wild horses hangs out? Yeah, why? Oh, we just came by there. A bunch of Mustangs chased us out. Came after us like a tornado. That wild stallion that leads that bunch almost trampled my partner to death. Well, sure, look what they've done to me. You ask me, they came after this poor devil, too. Only he wasn't so lucky. Sheriff, Champ's not a killer. He's the one who led me to where Grubstake was. Legend? Oh, that's rich. Look, boy, all you done was follow him back to where he done the trampling. 
He's been trampled, all right. There's no doubt about it. There's hoof marks all over him. Sheriff, you've got to listen to me. Chance General, I can prove it. Well, maybe he can, but he ain't gonna do it. Listen, Sheriff, what the boy says don't make sense. That stallion attacked me, and more than likely killed the old man. Now, we feel strong enough about it to help you get him. Ought to have a look at least. Come on, we'll show you where we saw him and his herd. Sandy, we've got to stop him. We can't interfere with the law, Ricky. But they're going to shoot Champ. And you know he wouldn't trample anybody. I know he wouldn't trample you. I'm not so sure how he'd behave around strangers. Those men are just trying to put the blame on Champ. They want him killed for some reason. Ricky, you're letting your imagination run away with you again. He's got some kind of a crazy idea those two newcomers have a reason for one champ killed. Well, I don't blame them. They just filed a claim up a lot of Gold Canyon. I don't think they could do much gold mining up there with the killer stallion running around loose. Filed a claim, huh? Maybe Ricky was right. Maybe they did jump Grubstake's claim after all. <laughs> Who's getting crazy ideas now? Well, sometimes children can see things a lot clearer than us older folks. You know old Grubstake hasn't panned out $10 worth of gold in 30 years. Yeah, what's this? Well, that's Milky Court. Same strat of rock those fellas brought in. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Let's go in your office. There's the herd. The leader must be around here somewhere. Well, there he is. There's that killer stallion. Seems like a crime to kill a magnificent animal like that. You wouldn't think so if you'd ever tangled with him. Take your dog home with you. But Champ's not a killer, Sheriff. I can prove it to you. How? Just let me call him. I'll show you how tame he is. He's just stalling to let that killer get away again. Please, Sheriff. Shut up and get out of here. Just a minute. There's no harm in letting the boy try. Why, he claimed that stallion would come to him at his ranch. All he did was run away. That's what he'll do again. 
Go ahead, son. Thank you, Sheriff. <laughs> Just wasting time. I'll be the judge of that. Go ahead, son. Keep coming, champ. Good fella. Well, I'll be Dagnap. It looks like he's coming to the boy. Get the rope. What's the use? I said get the rope. It's too late now, just like it's always too late with us. It's gonna be too late if that kid shows him the horse is friendly. Or will that leave us with our story about a killer stallion? Now where you have the chance. Don't shoot him, Sheriff. Sorry, son. There's no other way out. Go on, Sheriff. Shoot. I don't want him to suffer. I want to be sure of my shot. the men. That's your Uncle Sandy, Ricky. Now you'll have to answer to him for what you've done. Who's with him? Collie clerk. Sheriff arrest those two men. They brought in gold or identical to grub stake. That's right, Sheriff. They must have jumped his claim right after they murdered him. Come back here. Stop or I'll shoot. can't prove anything, Bo, or Samples. I was only backing up your Uncle Sandy's hunch. Well, it was really Ricky's hunch first. We were just running the bluff. But don't let that give you any ideas, Ricky. Well, anyway, Grubstake got what he always wanted. A gold mine for his daughter back east he was always talking about. <laughs> 